Am I making sense? A child is an open book of possibility. They are the reflection of the past and the consequence of the present. Children's learning is pivotal in creating a world where everybody thrives and lives much safer. However, how should we create a wholesome learning environment for the child? What learning methods should children get in school? How should we mold the child? Meet Grace. Grace is a bright and quirky young girl. For her, school is a home of care and love. She feels excited whenever she goes to school. As a kid, her excitement can be seen from her smile, as if the world is hugging her. As she enters the classroom, she sits in the front and prepares her notebook for the class. The teacher walks in front of the room, greeting everyone with a smile. After a while, the teacher asks the pupils to answer some questions. Grace studied some of the lessons in advance. The teacher called her name and proceeded to ask her. When she stood up, she saw everyone's eyes looking at her. Also, it is not helping that she is nervous. Her mispronunciation made the whole class laugh. As if a clown walked by under her, all the pupils were loudly laughing in front of her face. Suddenly, tears started flowing under her eyes. What do you think happened next? Grace was so sad because the class laughed at her. After that, she learned to repress her expression. She refrained from talking in the class. She wanted to feel unbothered by the experience. She hated it when someone would call her in front. She felt she was imprisoned by her own fear of getting laughed at again. She developed this defense mechanism. She hated the way she talked. She despises even just the thought of anyone mocking her speech. She grew up aloof and unable to express her emotions. Even though she knew the answer, she would just hold it. Even though she would always tell herself that everything is fine the way it is, she is very anxious, repression of what she feels. Since time immemorial, philosophers tried to analyze the best learning outcome for a child. Some of the notable ones were from the philosophical theories of education of Nell Noddings, Martinus Jan Langeveld, and Anna Freud. Nell Noddings' philosophy of education focuses on the ethics of care. He believed that caring is the foundation of learning, in that the relationship between teacher and students must be like a mother and a child. He believed that teachers should affect students' lives not just in what we teach them, by way of subject matter, but how the teachers relate to them as persons. Through caring, the child can achieve holistic and comprehensive development. Martinus Jan Langeveld, on the other hand, emphasizes that children must be given a space to introduce themselves, show their subjectivity and uniqueness. For the child learner, there must be a recognition of their subjective individual experiences and perspectives of how other beings and things are revealed to them. By allowing children to their respective safe places, they can build a stronger self-awareness and courage to present themselves authentically to the world beyond their secret places. Then. Anna Freud laid out the idea that we instinctively try to protect our ego with psychological strategies that are unconsciously used to protect ourselves from anxiety arising from unacceptable thoughts or feelings. Her philosophy of education focuses on the unconscious impact that the teacher or the school's environment imparts on the child. If injustices or stress happen in the classroom, the child would create defense mechanisms. The crucial part of imparting the learnings to a child is making sure that they feel safe, they feel loved and cared for. On the same note, 
child learning is best realized whenever the teacher shows as a motherly figure for the child. In the story, Grace's environment makes her anxious and feel humiliated. Laughing at her mispronunciation affected her confidence. From the stress, she had a defense mechanism, mainly repression. At this stage, kids like her must have a kinder and more sensitive environment, a space where they can be the best version of themselves. Some of us experience what Grace has been through. Sometimes, this experience leaves a mark on us that we will carry for the rest of our lives. The world should not let everyone experience what Grace had. She does not deserve that, and neither should anyone else. Am I making sense?